Hi guys, today I'm here with a kind of a three for one hashtag video. Um, this, this video, yeah, this video can be used for three separate open collabs that I'm participating in. Well, really one of them is just like a challenge that just happens to be what this video is about. And the other two are open collabs. So what I'll be making, you may have seen these before on, um, Melina Pilant's channel, or maybe, uh, I can't remember her channel, Camellia, Camellia Crafting, something like that, but, um, what they are, are these ticket pockets, and it's just a piece of paper that was folded into a pocket, but it's shaped like a ticket, and it also has a front pocket, and there's actually two pockets back here, this was my prototype, um, and then I used another ticket to make it a little tuck up front. So that is M's, MS Scrapbusters, which is Melina Pilots. That's what, that's where this whole thing came from. But the reason I'm making this video today, well, when I first saw this, I've been wanting to make them. And um, I just hadn't got around to it yet. I think it was only last week. It wasn't, it's not like it's been months. But um, then Enchanted Dream 71 posted, I think, like, Thursday or Friday, a new open collab that she is hosting, and it is called Shop My Stash 2023, and what it is, is the, the second and fourth Monday, I think, of every month, she will post the, a video, and you just have to do whatever's in that video and use her hashtag, and then you'll be in the collab and the first challenge was to make one of these ticket pockets or any ticket pockets and that is what the first one is now at the end of every challenge video she will post the idea for the next one so you'll have two weeks to be able to prepare your video and have it posted on that upcoming Monday but this also since I'm decided to use six by six papers which is Anchored in Crafts, open collab, Craft Your Stash 2023. In January, her um, stash buster, I guess, was, or is to use up 6x6 six six papers. So that's what I'm making these out of. Now, what I like to do when I'm making pockets in this fashion is I like to score it at about a half inch, maybe a quarter inch to half an inch. I score it on one side so that way my pocket opens like this and it's not closed because if I was gluing it over here, you know, it would be a lot smaller pocket, but I like to make it bigger. So I did that already on these. I scored all of the sides. I'm going to be making seven of them with no rhyme or reason. I just grabbed seven random six by six papers. These are going to be made into tabs that I'm going to put on the cards that I'm putting in the top pocket. And I'll get to those when it's time. But for now, I'm just going to take my 6x6 six six papers and get them glued up. So I'm just going to put these off to the side when they're all completed. And then that way, once I get some journals made up, I will already have a little bit of a stash of these pockets to use. So first I'm just going to glue these all up. And I I didn't measure anything except for the score mark. I think I scored them at half an inch, but it also might have been a quarter inch. I do not really remember. And then I just fold the side over to be glued up. It just makes a little bit bigger of an opening. And a, so a bigger pocket in, in the end is the only reason why I do that. Okay, so we got, whoops. I'm glad to be participating in a lot of different collabs this year. I'm glad a lot of people are making them. 
there's a lot of people that are making like using up your stash type collabs which is absolutely perfect because that is really my goal this year is just to use up my stash without buying so much even though i know that my last few regular videos have been haul videos but those are all the last hauls that i'm doing from those stores and all of that stuff was bought with either a gift card that i got for christmas or money i got for christmas so they were presents to me anyway so that's how i used them My crafting style, I would say I wouldn't actually, I don't actually really have a crafting style. Like I don't really craft with any one theme or anything like that. I, I like a little bit of everything. So I, I like to say that my style is eclectic. I just like, I like colors and variety of different types of things. So the journals that I make don't really, they're not really, uh, cohesive they're kind of all over the place I mostly when I make journals what I mostly like to do is just make pockets and fill them up with stuff it's like a treasure book kind of so that's why I I like having these pockets that I'm going to be making for these journals because they will be filled up with a bunch of different stuff This page isn't exactly six by six. It came from the Dollar Tree and it had the little circle on it so it could be hung on a rack, but their, their definition of six by six also included that extra paper with the circle on it, but I didn't want the circle on here. I guess it doesn't really matter, but so I cut the circle off. So this is a little bit shorter than a six by six. So actually I didn't even think about that. My Cards might not fit in here. Oh, they do. They're fine. They're fine. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my this pocket and use it as a reference to fold up these pockets because I want them all the same size. So I'm going to get them all folded first. And then I'll cut the cut the uh, the holes in them. I forgot to cut a hole up here, and I also forgot to do this one before I glued it. So that's why it's all wonky. I couldn't really see the measure to measure it, but that's all right. It's still perfectly fine. And also to turn these into tickets, um, both Camelia or her name is Julie. Both Julie and Melina had these, like, corner chomper things. Like, it was actually a tool, but I don't have anything like that. So you can use a, uh, just a regular hole punch. But I found that since I'm using 6x6 papers, the hole was a little bit too small for my liking. So I am using what I think is a half inch, it might be three quarters inch, circle punch to make, to punch the holes to make my tickets. And it has worked perfect. It, it does look like a ticket. So we got three, then we get four, five, and yeah, these hearts are upside down, but that's all right. That is just all right. There's number six, and here is number seven. OK, 
Okay, and now I can take my, I also have like a one and a half inch, so yeah, this doesn't say what's on it or what size it is, but this is a one and a half inch punch and I'm gonna take this off, get these out of here and make sure I punch the right one. This might actually be too big. I might not be able to punch with it. I might have to use the little one, but that's okay. Let's see if I can get this one off too. That one doesn't seem to want to come off. And I'll try to get as best in, in the middle as I can. So we got that one and then let's do up top. Okay, so we got that. This one doesn't want to open very well. So are you guys participating in any collabs this year? The collab that I am hosting with the Mystery Envelope Blue Book Challenge, that I will be doing that Saturday. So if you are going to be participating, then you can get your envelope ready, fill it up with however much stuff that you want, and make a blue book page with it. And that's all. I call it mystery glue book because I had my boyfriend fill up my envelopes. So I don't I don't know what's in them. And I picked out my first one. Okay, here we go. All of these are now ready to be glued. So I'm just gonna, I'm gluing, you can just glue this all down if you only want one pocket, but I'm gonna make double pockets. So I'm gonna glue just the two sides on all of them. Oh wait, hold on, I messed up. First, I have to make my ticket. I have to take the corner off so that way it's shaped like a ticket and then I can glue the pocket down there we go it's a little bit lopsided but that's okay so don't forget to make your to make your ticket first and since this is glued it might be kind of stuck in here Okay, there we go. There's my ticket. So we we'll do that on all of these first. And then I'll glue them down separately. I guess I can do two at one. And if they're not all even, that is a-okay. And if you don't even want to make them into tickets, I guess you don't really have to, even though the challenge is to make them look like tickets. They're called, she calls them ticket pockets. And I think they look really cool, like tickets. I got all this paper flying at me because I don't have the thing down. But now I can put it down. Okay, so... Let me re-glue this. So it didn't stay down very well after I took it back up. Okay. So that one's fine.
Then we have the heart one. And this red one. This orange one. Pink one. And then this other multicolored one. And now is the time that we'll turn the tops and bottom parts into tickets. And then we can fill up the pockets. And then they'll be com well, almost complete. I forgot that I still need to add these little tickets to them. Ah, oh, there we go. I got this off. And I'm not measuring, I'm just kind of sticking it in there till it looks right. And it's good enough for me. If you want them to be absolutely perfect, then, you know, do better than I'm doing. But I think they're okay. The way that they are. Oh, the bottoms I can't do doubly because they're already doubled up. And then we can get these ones. And then they just look like big tickets. And I think using a 6x6 six six paper is the perfect size, at least for me. You can obviously use any size paper that you want to make your tickets out of, in your pockets. Any kind of paper, whatever you want. You know, make them in your style. That's the beauty of crafting. You can make them any way that you want. All right, and now we're done with making the tickets themselves. I got some paper in my hair because these just flew everywhere. Okay, so let's lay them all out. You got one, two, three, four, five. Here, let's get these out of the way. And then we'll get this one out of the way, my prototype. We'll get my pocket stuffers out of the way. So now what I'm going to do is put a coupon on all of them. And they're not going to match. And I'm just going to glue the, the one on the bottom and the one on the left to make a little tiny tuck in the front. And I'll just put it close to the bottom left-hand side. So that's a little tuck, an extra pocket. And you know I like pockets, so that's perfect. And you don't have to do this if you don't want to. That's just This is just how I decided to do them. Because I had the tickets, and since it's called a ticket pocket, it makes perfect sense. You can cut paper to make it look like a ticket if you want, or you can just not do this step at all. It's completely up to you. This one was just a little ticket from a, uh, re a reverse raffle, and I just used my little hole puncher to cut the corners out to make it look like a ticket.
And then here's the last ticket to glue down. And now I got all my tickets, ticket pockets made. And what I'm gonna do next is I have some, um, some just some scrap paper and I'm gonna cut it to a size that will fit, I'm gonna take this off as well, that will fit in here to make a double tab that I can just glue over that I'm gonna attach to the card that I'll be putting in the top pocket. So, I think if I just cut this, this might be a little bit too small. I might have messed this one up, but we're going to see. Nope, actually, it's a little bit too long. There we go. Okay, so there's one tab. Let's, since this was a good size, I'm just going to use this as my uh, template to cut the rest of them. They're mostly all the same size papers, which is good. these go over here and then this is a coloring book page and then just got to cut these last ones out and make the tabs out of them Fold these all in half. Yeah, okay. Making sure that I was folding them on the right side. And I was. So let's see if I can do two at a time. This one I might have folded the wrong way. Oops. Yeah. I did, so it just needs cut a little bit. And now it'll work to make, make the tabs. Okay, hold on. I gotta do these one by one. I cannot see them properly if there's two of them in there. And these are kind of hard to actually to make. There we go. There's three. Four. You have to get it just underneath that top tab part. Might have cut this one the wrong way. I mean, folded it the wrong way. So it just needs cut a little bit. And then just there we go so there's my seven tabs so we'll get these out of the way my tabs are right there okay so for the front pocket for the front little ticket pocket I have these little tiny stamps that I'll be putting in there so let's put a stamp in each one it's a it's a stamp um, sticker Oh, 
Whoops, I guess I <laughs> lost one. Oh, no, it's right here. And I also have this little, uh, like, scenery picture. So I'll put that in there as well. And you can fill your pockets however you want. This is just how I'm doing it. I'm going to close my glue up for now. As well as a little flower. And like I said, I didn't pick out any, uh, no rhyme, no reason here. And I guess I lost the other flower. But that is okay. And then for the front pocket, I have these little pieces of paper and these like vintage type pieces of paper. So we'll put those in. one so put you in there put you right here and the pink one orange and the pink pink and the orange you and then you and then for the pocket behind it I have these like vintage type pieces of paper as well as these mini project life cards so let's just make seven stacks right here. And then, so that way I can fill them up at the same time. And this one goes in the back pocket. If I can find it. Oh, it's already in there. Okay. So fill up this back pocket. And this one. This one. Oh, here's the other flower for right there. That one. This one. And this one. And then for the big pocket, I cut down some Project Life cards just a tiny, tiny bit. So that way they would be able to fit inside. And now I'm just going to glue the tabs that I made onto them. Sorry that this was kind of a longer video, but it took me a while to get all this stuff done. And I haven't really made a longer video in a while. Okay. And the last one. All right. Now we can glue the tabs on them. This one says Monday. And that's what today is. Well, technically today is Sunday. I'm recording this on Sunday because I won't have time to record it tomorrow. This one is for Friday. This one actually has some tickets on it, which I just now realized. Like, I knew that they had tickets on it, but I didn't think about it being for the ticket project. So that's cool. And this one says Sunday. And then we have this last one, which has a phone on it. So now, we just take them, stick them in our back pocket. And they have a nice little pull-out tab 
to easily get them out of the pockets. And that's it for my three in one collab video with Shop My Stash 2023 hosted by Enchanted Dream 71. And I will link her, I will link all their channels in the description box as well as M Scrap Busters, which was just kind of a byproduct of these other collabs that I'm doing. And I'll also link her in there with at Melina Pilot. And also Craft Your Stash 2023 for using 6x6 papers in January by Anchored and Crafts. So I apologize that this video was a little bit longer, but sometimes you might want a longer video and sometimes you just need a longer video. So yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.